What's going on guys? It's been a hot minute since we last uploaded any adventure mode gameplay and since they just added the new Witches of Langley Adventure Island into the game a few weeks back I figured we'd take a look at it and maybe go over some tips and tricks to help out any of you who needed to complete your Onyx Mastery questline on it. So the first opponent on the island for 33-1 is Witch Hunter Lewis. Here are the rewards you can get at each level of completion. Your epic cards are going to be Money Goat and Olive Addict. So you got some Animal and some Addicted cards there. As for the um, hero himself there, Lewis for his skills has Heal All 5 and Punch 5 for the Onyx Mastery. Um, it also has 85 HP, so pretty standard stuff, nothing too scary. What we really want to focus on is the type of deck that it's running, because every, every Adventure Island runs its own kind of theme. For the Witches of Langley, it's a disguise theme that they're running. So there's quite a few combos they can make for items. They do run a lot of high HP stuff like the Roger Sexy Shorts there to stall out to make combos. And the combo synergy is pretty high for them. Look, it combos right out the gate there. So they do have Guinea Pig Klaus. It's not too scary of a combo. It's mostly just tanky, though it is great support if they get anything else out on the field with that Motivate All and Cheer All for the Disguise cards. And it has the Heal there. So. Ruby Zeldestein, that's one of the pre-combos that plays a lot on the islands. It has Sturdy Wall, Craze, and some Shield all to disguise, so you're going to want to pretty much have something to counter that. Cards with Hijack are a great way to go. I'm running my Robot Fry to kind of out-craze them and get my wins. Um, it's also really good to have Leech in there to heal yourself up as well. You'll see as we go on, you want to have a strategy in mind for playing this. Um, I definitely recommend playing it on the, um, if you have a good disguise deck, definitely you can play it on the battleground effect, but if you don't have a really good disguise deck, maybe avoid this island when the disguise battleground effect is going on, because they will take advantage of that and really sneak up on you if you're not careful. Alright, so that's the Onyx Mastery completion for 33-1. Now let's take a look at 33-2 here. So the second opponent's going to be Twanderlust Lumpkin. Here are the rewards of the different levels. Once again, Money Goat's in there, and you also have Preschool Grad Stewie. It also has 85 HP like the other one. The skills are a bit different though. You got Cripple All 5, Cripple 4, and it also grants the gas skill of 5 to one of their cards. So this one's a bit more difficult for those because it can stall you out. So I'm still running my same deck. As you can see here, it's staying true to the theme of kind of high HP items for the Disguiser there to give itself time to combo against you. All right, so this is another combo you can make with Roger for the Francine Roger. It has Rogers in the deck to try to make the Ruby Zeldestein combos against you. Luckily, it didn't hit me with it that time in this hand because Captain Yesterday is not the greatest. I do have double combo mastery on there, and I am running it right now because when I was playing these matches, both the Addicted and the Disguised Battleground effects were going on, so I was getting kind of double buffs. But yeah, it's not the greatest combo, but I have a lot of cards that make it, so I'm running it. But yeah, the Francine Rogers not too scary. It's got the gas, it's got the cheer all and the heal all. There's a lot more scary things it can be making for sure, as you'll see as we go on. And there's the Ruby Zeldestein combo. So the actual combo version is quite a bit scarier there with the, the 13 sturdy wall, the 17 craze, and then the 9 shield all there. Definitely some scary stuff, especially if it gets made against you right away and you don't have a good counter for it. It can sneak, sneak up on you relatively quick. That's why it's really good to have your own crazers working for you against this island. Hijack's not a bad way to go either to try to steal those crazes. So there's the Onyx completion for the second one there. Now let's take a look at the final one of the island, Boy Witch Steve for 33-3. Your rewards are as follows. Once again, you got the Olive Addict in there and then the Preschool Grad Stewie for your epics. So this is, in my opinion, is probably the hardest one on the island to play, just from the times I've played it. It's got 90 HP, so a bit stronger. It's also got 6 Payback, 6 Give for Leech, and the 4 Punch. Giving that the Leech Give there is the one that's going to be crucial, because this island likes to play a lot of Boy Witch Steves against you, which already has Leech, as you're going to see here. So it can definitely be pretty scary going up against it if you don't have the right setup. Luckily, it didn't hit me with it that time. It made Dear Daddy Steve one of the weaker combos. I say weaker, but it does have 23 jab to be breaking through my sturdy walls there. And it also does have recover if it makes other combos to get HP back. So this is why it's important to have your crazers to really deal the damage there to try to take it out. Plays the Roger Sexy Shorts. That one can make the Boy Witch Steve, which I believe is going to be its next move if it gets the chance here. So we're dropping slot one, which is working out nicely but slot 2 is going to live, so let's see if it goes for the combo or if it defends. If it goes for the combo, it's my win, which is good for me, but I want to see the combo potential. There it is, the Boy Witch Steve comboed version. Look at that disgusting bastard. That's some scary shit right there. Let's get a close-up look at that for the skills. 
So 17 craze with the added leech from the island, that's 25 leech, 24 payback. You can see why this is a can be a devastating island if you don't have the right deck to counter it there. It'll craze out of control really quick and it's gonna be hurting you really bad with those um those payback damages there. So you definitely want to have a way to heal up and something to counter that, which is why I recommend a Crazer. Hijack's not bad. Anything with Heal or Leech is also great. And that's going to be the Onyx Mastery completion for this island there. Um, as a lot of you probably already know, once you complete the Onyx Mastery for an island, if you continue to play it, you can collect Golden Turds and Giggity Watts to farm it. So let's take a look at some of those drop rates there and do some more matches, see what else they got going for us, because that was a pretty easy win we had on that last match. I definitely, during my recording sessions of this, encountered quite a few harder matches. There were a few matches of um, some bad RNG that definitely boned me here and there, so by no means is it an easy island. I'm des definitely making it look a lot easier in the actual video here that I'm showing you versus what it actually is. So look at that. It made the Boy Witch Steve combo one that time. As you can see, it's dealing me a bit of damage. Luckily, my Frying Robot Disguise is a good counter for it. It is definitely a good combo I would recommend against this island. Look at that. They have the pre-combo version of it too. This is definitely a disgusting island for it, especially when Disguised Battleground Effect is going on. It can be difficult if you don't have the inventory and the cards to fight it. So my advice is definitely um, maybe hang off from hitting this island if you don't have a Disguised deck, if the Battleground Effect is going on. Luckily, at the time we're recording this though, I believe the Disguised Battleground Effect is going to be over in a day or two, so it'll, you'll find yourself having a bit of an easier time on that if you haven't already beaten it. And luckily, Disguised only rolls around once a year around Halloween, so you have pretty much a full year to tackle this before it becomes a bit harder to hit again. But by then, hopefully you have a really good, strong deck and inventory that, that can kind of counter it there. So as you can see here, like any island, the first hit after you get Onyx Mastery doesn't deliver any rewards, that's just consistent on anything. You have to play it again, and after that your Golden Turds and your Watts will start dropping. So don't be disheartened if you play one immediately after getting Onyx and don't see anything, that's completely normal. So after we win this one, we'll have an idea of what those drop rates are and see if it's worth farming for 10 Adventure Energy on this island, because 10 Energy is pretty steep. Personally, I like to farm the... um. Oh god, what island it is. I think it's 26 that has the time travel Brian on it. That's my preference for farming. It only costs, I think, like 6 energy or something like that to hit. And it's given me pretty nice return on the rewards there for, um, for what it drops. But yeah, my final advice on this island going into it, like I've already mentioned it several times throughout the video, but just to reiterate, if you don't have the cards for it, kind of avoid it. And then if you are trying to like plan around it, Go for um, cards that have Craze for sure, because you're going to want to out-Craze their Boy Witches and their Ruby Zeldesteens. Um, Hijack's not a bad way to go to counter their Craze as well if you want to take that route. If you fight it with your own um, cards with like Payback, Gas, and stuff like that to try to whittle down the HP, it's not a bad way to go either. Basically find a way to out-Craze them and outlast them to get those wins. Like I said, it's been a hot minute since we did any um, adventure gameplay like this. Let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoy these types of videos. Maybe leave a like on there too if you want. If you guys enjoy this type of thing and want to see more Onyx Mastery um, tips and tricks on the Adventure Islands, maybe I'll make a series out of it. But go ahead and let me know down in the comment section if that's something you guys want to see more of. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.